Hi, and welcome to Prepping Essentials. Something a little bit different today. It's a very short video in a kind of a news alert style, which I don't normally do, but it's important news that you might or might not be aware of, and I wanted to get it out there as soon as I could. What's it about? Well, let's find out. If you're a regular viewer to our channel, then you may remember that one of the most likely and potentially dangerous something at the fan crises which I'm preparing for is the threat of a global pandemic. And I've covered this subject in a number of my previous videos. Well, if you've been keeping an eye on the news media recently, as all preppers should, then you may have noticed a news story breaking out of China over the Christmas and New Year holiday season. Reports started circulating about patients in China attending hospitals in the Wuhan province of China, and they were displaying fever and pneumonia-like symptoms, very similar to the SARS, or Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome virus. Um, you might remember that SARS killed 349 people in China and 800 people globally during the last SARS outbreak in 2002. So obviously health officials are concerned whenever they see something like this breaking out. However, health officials have quickly confirmed that this is not an outbreak of SARS and they've also subsequently ruled out things like common flu or avian flu, adenovirus or other common respiratory diseases. This means that this latest outbreak is of a completely new respiratory disease in the same coronavirus family as SARS. When the news story broke in early January about the outbreak of this new infection, cases appeared to be limited to one area of China, and at the time there were less than 50 confirmed cases. The main concern then was that neither the original source nor the way in which the infection was being spread could be confirmed. Well, since then, the number of people who have been infected has continued to grow, and new cases of the infection have started to appear over a much wider area in China. Official figures for the spread of the infection are difficult to obtain, as the Chinese government is trying to remain a little bit li limited with its information, for fear of causing a panic, and they're working hard to try and halt the spread of the disease to more and more cities. The initial outbreak was in the city of Wuhan, whereas as at this Sunday, the 19th of January, there had been a total of 198 cases of infection and three fatalities. However, since then, the disease has continued to spread to other areas of China, including Shenzhen, Beijing and Shanghai. Whilst it's not been confirmed, it does appear most likely that the infection is actually now being transmitted through human contact, since cases have now started to appear outside of China, with two cases being reported in Thailand, one in Japan and another one in South Korea. And all of these involved people from Wuhan or those who had recently visited Wuhan City. If nothing else, this does demonstrate the speed and ease with which disease can now be rapidly spread globally, thanks to our modern global transportation network. So this brings us to what is potentially the biggest area of concern regarding this particular outbreak of a contagious disease and that is the upcoming Chinese New Year. Chinese celebrate New Year outside of the normal January to December calendar, and it's based on a lunar cycle. So in the coming weeks, millions of people in China will start traveling from the major Chinese cities back to the smaller hometowns so they can celebrate the 2020 Lunar New Year with their families. This is an annual epic travel rush, and it's quite often billed in the media as the world's largest annual human migration. And it started today, 
20th of January, and it's expected to last through the weeks leading up to the Chinese New Year, which is on the 25th of January. And then it will continue again for several weeks afterwards as people go back to their normal residencies or back to their cities where they work. The Chinese state media estimates that an estimated 3 billion, with a B, 3 billion trips will be made by people in China during the Chinese New Year festival. So this in itself will inevitably add to the spread of the coronavirus throughout China itself. However, literally millions of Chinese nationals living or working outside of China will also travel back to China for the New Year celebrations. Clearly, if they then become infected whilst they're in China, there's the potential for a massive explosion in the spread of the disease globally as these people subsequently return back to the country of origin. The only glimmer of good news in this current incident is that at present the fatality rate of this specific infection appears to be small when you compare it to some of the more deadly infections such as Ebola. However, my point in raising this issue is to highlight that over recent decades we've seen the sudden appearance of new diseases and infections such as SARS and bird flu or African swine fever and there's now this new mystery infection that we, nobody knows really where it's come from. All of these have the potential to appear without warning and through the global transit system to spread rapidly around the globe. With that in mind, can I suggest that everyone pays some close attention to what happens in China during the coming weeks and to be on the lookout for news of any further spread of this current outbreak into other countries. You should be particularly vigilant for reports of any outbreak in your own country so that you have sufficient time to take appropriate action to protect yourselves and your families. Perhaps now would be a good time to make a check of what plans and supplies you have in place to be ready for a pandemic if it were to spread to your country. You might also want to take time to review my previous videos on this subject and to look for videos made by other prepping channels on this subject. There's lots of information out there that could really help you if something hits the fan. Well, that's it for this video, short but sweet, but I did want to get uh, a news alert type video out for this as it's a very serious subject. Uh, so I hope you found something interesting in it. If you did like the video, please do click on the like button. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And as always, I welcome any comments, questions or suggestions you might have. What are your plans should a pandemic break out? Let myself and others know in the comments section below. But for now, thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.